Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of solving graphs. This is standard 7.6G in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 14 off the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got a bar graph, which shows results of 50 7th graders about their favorite ice cream topping. So based on the bar graph, what percentage of 7th graders prefer sprinkles or chocolate chips? All right. So let's just open up our graph draw feature here. And expand it out, increase the transparency so we can see what's going on behind. You notice that I do have to scroll down to find what's going on with this problem, but that scroll bar still shows up on the right side of the graph draw feature, so that's nice. So I'm going to scroll all the way down and keep it kind of like that so I can see my four answer choices. Uh, and I'll leave it right around there. So I'm going to go ahead and just label all of these, right? So that's 10. And I've got 8 for chocolate chips. My waffle cone piece is between 4 and 6, so that's a 5. Uh, between 8 and 10 for whipped cream, that's a 9. Walnuts is between 8 and 6, that's a 7. And my brownie bits is way up there, uh, between 10 and 12, so we'll call that 11. Now, if you add all these up, we could go ahead and add these up if we want to. But remember, at the very top, they actually told us there's 50 of them. So if we added 8 plus 10 plus 5 plus 9, 7, and 11, add those together equals 50. Now, why is that going to be important? Well, because we need to turn this into a percentage. So based on the graph, what percentage of 7th graders prefer sprinkles? or chocolate chips. Okay, so uh, let's look at both of those individually and then we'll kind of connect them together because that or is definitely very important. It's a connecting word here. So sprinkles. So let's just look at, I'm going to put SPR for sprinkles over my total. That's going to give me a fraction. How many sprinkles do I've got? I've got 10. How many total? 50. That's why that 50 is very important. All right, so that's not a percentage yet, but I need to turn this into a decimal to get it into a percent. I've got two different options. If I want to, I could always divide up. Every single fraction can always be turned into a decimal. If you divide up, 50 does not go into 10, but you can add a decimal and zero. 50 goes into 100 twice evenly, right? So it's 0 0.2. Then I move the decimal over once, twice and there's your 20%. Or, since I've got 50 as my denominator, I know that if I change my denominator into 10, 100, or 1,000, that goes straight into place value. And I know 50 times 2 is 100, so I'm going to make an equivalent fraction with 2 there as my, denom as my multiplier there. And look at that. I've got 20 over 100, which is 20 hundredths, which is 20%. So that's my sprinkles. All right, if I do the same thing for chocolate chips, well, that's going to be chocolate chips, 8. 8 out of 50. I kind of like doubling it to get up to 100, so I will do that. So that's going to be 16 hundredths, which is 0 0.16, which is, move the decimal over twice, 16, there we go, percent. Now, 20% is an option here, 16% is not an option, but that's fine because it's sprinkles or chocolate chips. When you see this or as a connector, you actually need to add these two together. So or, when we're looking at graphs and trying to interpret it, is actually a connector that adds these two possibilities together. So I've got 20% for sprinkles, 16% for chocolate chips, or means add them up, and there we go. I've got a total percentage of 36% if I add those two options together. It's down at my very, very bottom. Answer is D.